Hello and welcome to another tutorial here on the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to make this double or nothing gambling machine. I had a comment in one of my other videos that an individual wanted me to try to translate a Java machine into Bedrock Edition and that one was originally by Rex Stone. So if you guys have the Java edition of Minecraft and want to make this machine, go check out his video. I will link to it down in my description. Uh, some of you may be asking, what is a double or nothing gambling machine? Well, real quick, I will show you how this works. First of all, you put your diamonds into the dropper. I'm going to start with just a whole mess of them. It will only take out it will only take out one diamond at a time. So keep that in mind. You are only playing one diamond at a time. And so once your diamonds are in, you start your betting and it will go to here. Now, down here are the levels of your bet. So like if you want to just get your one diamond back, you can click to claim your diamonds to get your one diamond back or you can bet that one diamond and go up to two diamonds. So to do that, you hit this, so advance your bet. Okay, so we have successfully got two diamonds. All right, so we can try for four diamonds. Each time we are doubling it. So let's see if we can get four diamonds. Okay, all right. So let's say I, I'm good with four diamonds. So let's claim our diamonds. And our winnings are here. All right, so let's just claim those. Boop. All right, now, to show that we can get an output of 64 diamonds, I'm going to change the odds real quick uh, to make sure that I win, and I will be right back. All right, so let's submit our diamond. Now, in our winnings, there's nothing up here. So just so you know, I'm not editing that in. So let's advance our bet. Oh, I didn't do my odds good enough. I just lost. Okay, so I got up to there and I lost my diamond. So no winning. So let's try this again. Let us submit our diamond. And then we advance our bet. And 64 diamonds. Okay. Now at this point, nothing else happens there. And so we go ahead and we will claim our diamonds. And we watch the diamonds flow in. There is our 64 diamonds. All right. So, that is generally how the game is played. You either double your money or you lose your money. Now, before I get right into the tutor tutorial, I will briefly explain some of the challenges in translating this from Java into Bedrock Edition. Uh, and then I will do the the tutorial. If you want to skip that explanation, there will be timestamps down in my description and you can just jump right into the t tutorial. But for now, let's uh, go on into explaining why this was so hard to go from the original Java version way over there through all the steps to figure out how to get this to work. All right, here we go. Now, this first line are all the steps to create the Java version of this machine. This does not work here 
in my little world uh, for a few reasons. Now, first, the way the Java machine works is Rex relies on target blocks to redirect this redstone signal into the repeaters and comparators, which is great. Great idea. I love that. Except for the problem with target blocks here in Bedrock Edition. So you can see they will redirect a redstone signal. But the problem is they are actually transparent blocks. Yeah, transparent blocks. So we do that. It redirects the signal, but it does not affect my torch because they do not um, transmit the redstone signal through themselves. Like over here, solid block. Yeah, it'll, it'll turn that off. And they just don't with target blocks. So I'm thinking, even though I hate to use the B-U-G word, uh, but I, I think there's no point in redirecting redstone signal if they don't also transmit a redstone signal. Repeaters, no, no, nothing works. Okay, so that's the one issue that had to be overcome. The second issue, to get groups of 16 diamonds, we are relying on a decaying signal with an observer seeing all the changes in that redstone dust, which can happen here in Bedrock Edition. Um, the idea is we power this piece of redstone dust up to level 15, full power. That comparator fires 15 signal strength into there, gets transmitted to here. This comparator picks up that 15 signal, puts it here, and then it decays to 14 signal strength, and then it goes around 13 signal strength, etc. You get the idea. Okay, that that sounds good, like it works. In theory, it should work. And I've set that up here. We have our decaying signal, and we're going to take our observers. And in this case, uh, for my experiment, I'm looking at both pieces of redstone dust here on each side. So let's go ahead, put in our comparators. And now we add a quick level 15 redstone signal to it. Bloop. And that's what happens until it wears out. The observers were firing into the blocks, firing these droppers. And our output over here, is it 15? No, it's 10. 10 diamonds. Okay, what about this side? Mm, 11 diamonds. What the heck is happening? Well, as it turns out, droppers, like uh, pistons here in Bedrock Edition, can't keep up with fast signals. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to actually slow the signal down because the droppers cannot keep up with all of the signals from our observers. They're just firing, 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 and the droppers can't keep up with that. So to slow the signal down, uh, quick experiment. Let's take this. We have an observer firing into a piston and a repeater on three tick delay. Let's see what happens now. Let's just move that down there. There we go. Move that one down to there. And then let's fire this. There we go. Slow signal and it's out. Let's see what we got now. Eight diamonds. Well, eight is a number I can work with, honestly. Eight, 16, 32, 64. Over here we have nine diamonds. Uh, but you know what? We can do even better than this. So that's what I have set up here. Instead of slowing the signal down out here, let us try slowing the signal down here by adding in some more comparators. So as the signal strength goes through each comparator, it takes one redstone tick. So our signal is slowed down. Now what happens if we add a redstone torch? Level 15 signal strength. Slow, 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 circling around. Did that work? That worked. 15 signal strength. And 
16 signal strength. Now, why is why do we have this difference? 15 here, 16 here. Well, what happens? This block is powered to 15. Well, before it can go around, it bleeds over here as a level 14 signal strength. So this observer sees that as 14, and then that 15 signal strength comes around and that spot there goes up to 15 before going back down to 14 again, and then 13, 12, 11, 10. And that's where our extra, our extra diamond, our extra firing comes from. So it's important if you want 16, have your power going into this spot and your observer looking at this spot. So when I build this into the machine, I will be using, collect those diamonds. I'll be using this bit of a circuit here. Okay, let us just now start and get into the build. And blocks you will need, although not necessarily in this color because as I build this, I will probably change up the colors a little bit. Uh, but this is just to give you a rough idea of the number of blocks in my circuits. Uh, this is roughly the number of blocks for the face of the machine, but you will need uh, 20, 27 slabs for inside. Three lecterns, three books with 30 pages, has to be 30 pages and then signed, so signed books. Uh, four note blocks, some blocks here for adjusting the sound of your note blocks. Uh, slime blocks, honey blocks, eight glazed terracottas, barrels, redstone lamps. These are droppers, so nine droppers, 25 hoppers, 15 sticky pistons, a regular piston. 40 observers, a stack and 16 of redstone dust, redstone torches, uh, almost a stack and 16 of repeaters, and then just a little over half a stack of comparators, and then one redstone block. In addition to these, you will also need, for the face of your machine, some item frames, and then uh, renamed diamonds, with 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, uh, five signs. You will need non-stackable items. They do not have to be diamond hose. They can be wooden swords for all that matters, but you'll want uh, this many of non-stackable items. About 32 stackable items. Again, doesn't does not have to be bush. They can be whatever you want just as long as they stack to 64. And then you will want some starting diamonds for your early payouts for, as people win, they, they can get paid diamonds. This can be any number, really. There you go. All right, I have started by setting up the face of the machine. It is three blocks tall, one, two, three, and two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 blocks long. 3 by 16. Okay, we are in the middle. We are going to come in three blocks and put a barrel. Next to that, we have a dropper facing backwards. Dropper. Below that dropper is a button. Skip a space and put in seven redstone lamps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Below each redstone lamp is an item frame with your renamed diamonds. One, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. Skip a space and put in a button there and a button there. If you want, you can put in your signs as well. This top button will advance our bet. The bottom button will claim the diamonds. This is the start button, winnings, diamonds in. All right, so now. Okay, so what you wanna do is take some temporary blocks right be behind this barrel, come out for a quick minute, take out that block, grab your dropper and put a dropper so it faces into the barrel Take a hopper and have the hopper facing that dropper. 
grab grab a block put that back grab a slab and come out four one two three four have a comparator here a block here and some redstone dust there get rid of that one and that one grab your dropper again put a dropper here with some redstone dust on top get your hopper have the hopper facing into the dropper put a repeater on top that fires up into a block with a redstone torch on its face okay the next thing that we're going to do is under our hopper temporarily come down two blocks get rid of that have a dropper facing up into our hopper get rid of that and then we're going to run we are going to run seven hoppers two three four five six and seven and they should line up with our redstone lamps into the sides of these we're going to run more hoppers one and seven off the end of this we'll put a block like that with a comparator facing away and then we're going to have there we go hoppers facing that direction all leading into each other like that okay Q now on top of all of these we are going to have comparators one two three four five six and seven grab yourself some sticky pistons and these will be going next to uh, the hoppers like that like that we have redstone dust on top of all of those grab yourself some slabs again and run slabs all through here on top of those put in repeaters just like that okay so now let's get these hoppers and droppers over here set up this first hopper is a sorting hopper to make sure we only get diamonds so take 21 of a stackable item and set those in there like that uh, Again, if you rename these to something really weird, just spam your keyboard. That will ensure that this won't break a little bit more. And then take one diamond and put the diamond there. Okay, so that's our item sorter. Come over here to this dropper and put four items into here, stackable items. And that should be enough for that. So now when the diamond gets put in, the dropper fires and begins sending that item through our hopper chain. All right, so I think we are going to start with the more complicated circuit towards the bottom of the bottom of the machine and work our way up. So from this purple block, come back one, and then come down one, two, three, four, and five. Get rid of these. 
I'll put one block here and then come back here and do one, two, and three. Put redstone dust here and here. A repeater facing that direction. A repeater on three ticks facing that direction. A block there in front of that repeater with a redstone torch there. And you'll get this clocking action. A repeater there. Then come there, back, and up one. Put a redstone torch here. And that should lock this. And this is actually a T flip flop I learned from Joker. Silent T flip flop. Now we want that to be in an off state. So just, there you go, break and replace like that. Uh, on the back side of this, come there and then there and up with a block. Get rid of those. Have a repeater facing that on a three tick delay. Come there. And there with a the block. Dust on top of those. And then, let's see here, come down with a block there. Grab yourself a sticky piston. Have a sticky piston facing up with a block on top of it. You can get rid of that one and put dust here. Okay, next to that piston, put a block there, a block there, and a block there with redstone dust on all of those. Okay, so let's extend this line out two more blocks. Have a half slab here. Uh, come over two blocks there. Get rid of that. Come up two. And then put a slab here like that. All right, we're going to have redstone dust here. That is actually going to be fired from above, so put a comparator here. Put a comparator there, going back in the other direction. Uh, down here, we want to get a reading from here. We are actually going to have a repeater facing back to this. We want an observer looking at that repeater. Uh, our redstone dust, let's bring up and over our repeater. We don't really need that block there, so we can get rid of that. And so this observer, we want an observer looking at that observer, one looking at that, another one looking at that, one from above looking down on that one, and then finally... Yep, one there. So that eventually, when this piston pops this block up, this observer will fire into the block. So you'll want that kind of a an observer line coming around. Now, what we are going to do is off the end of this, put a sticky piston facing in this direction with a slime block on its face and an observer looking in that direction get a glazed terracotta and come down and over get rid of that with some redstone dust on top of it uh, grab a temporary block and put that there next to the observer a dropper facing up right there and then a dropper facing in that direction right there Get rid of that. You can put a hopper facing into that bottom dropper and then on top of it put a barrel. Now in this top dropper here go ahead and put one stackable item just like that. So that when this fires or extends this observer 
will trigger this little circuit here. All right, next, what we are going to do is we're going to come in next to this comparator. We are going to put a dropper facing in this direction. On top of this observer, we'll put a block and then we'll have a dropper facing back into this one. And in this dropper, we will put four non-stackable items, just like that. Swing around to the inside, put a slab here and here. On top of both, do repeaters. On top of this dropper, put another block, and then redstone dust on top of both of those. In front of this comparator, above this comparator, put a block like that with dust on top of it. Okay, come on over here next to this hopper and barrel. Next to the hopper, put a slab. We have a comparator taking a reading from the barrel. And that is going to go into a block there with dust on top of it. We have an observer looking at the dust, firing into a block with dust on top of it. We have a block next to it with a repeater on two tick delay. Don't forget, two tick delay. Okay. So this is pretty much one circuit. Oh, uh, why is it so complicated? Well, because it is actually handling the last three payments of 16, 32, and 64 diamonds. And that is determined by the number of items that get transferred from one dropper to the other dropper. Um, and so now we will work in the little bit to be able to reset this after it's, it gets done with the payout. And so to reset these droppers, Come on over here and put a block next to this one. And then down and next to this comparator, put a block. Over the comparator, put a block. On this side, put a block. And then down here, come over one, and then one, two, and three. And get rid of this one that's under that green wool. Put one here in the middle. Off the end, come over and up one. And then up one, two. On top of these, put redstone dust and redstone dust. A repeater down there. A comparator in subtract mode. Another comparator. Redstone dust here. Inside on top of that, redstone dust. And then over here, a repeater firing into the last block. So that is our first point. Our second point that we are going to use to reset those, come over here and off of this dropper that's facing up, actually come below it and over one. Get rid of that. We are going to take a comparator reading like that from the dropper. Grab yourself some observers and come over once and then twice. Nope, it's got to look at it twice. There you go. So that, that's looking at that and then come down the line to here and then look up, up. Wow, there we go, just like that. So that this last one is firing into this bit of redstone dust here. Okay, and there's our reset circuits done. Okay, so let's begin hooking this circuit up to our 16, 32 and 64 pistons so what we want to do we'll start with slime block come over to the third piston with a slime block right there and then have an observer attached like so so that when that piston moves down it fires into here fires into the block and fires our dropper to move one of these hose over into the other dropper now for each hole that's in this other dropper, our output circuit will output 16 diamonds. So for 
R32, put a honey block, because honey and slime slide next to each other. An observer. And again, when that pushes down, that will fire into here and fire our dropper again. So there would be two over here. 16, 32 output. And lastly, for our 64 output, we'll do a slime block, another slime block below it. Over here on this side, we'll do a solid block, and then an observer, a second observer, and then a, an observer here. And what happens when that piston fires down, the observers will see the block move, so again, it'll fire. There'll be three items in this dropper. That means an output of 48, and then when the circuit clears up above this, pulls back up, and the observers will see that movement back up and fire again for a total of four items in this dropper for a total of 64 output in our barrel. Okay, let's continue tying in these other pistons for eight and four. We'll do these two together as a group. So our next block is a honey block and then we'll do a slime block next to it. So when the honey block comes down, the signal from the outside will fire into this comparator and firing that. Uh, what we'll want to do is put a block here with some redstone dust on top of it. And that's going to be for when the signal fires through the slime block, it'll trigger this. And we will want an observer. An observer, there we go. Looking at that redstone dust. And then we are going to come down and run our line of observers down once, twice. Come to the outside and put in one, two, and three. You should be lined up with this right there. And then run this line to the left. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then come up once and into a block. Off of this side of that block is a sticky piston. And then we will finish that circuit here in a little bit. Let's come back into here. Okay, so for the eight piston, that signal comes onto this redstone dust. Well, on top of this observer, we want a comparator in subtract mode we'll put another block here just so that we can have a comparator with a barrel there can get rid of this temporary block inside the barrel you have five non-stackable items important to have five okay this comparator is firing up into a block then we'll come over with a block with redstone dust on top of it. All right, cool. So what's, what's important to know here is this grouping of blocks is going to be kind of a key intersection for all of these signals. And so we will eventually and slowly be bringing all the signals into this little nexus. Okay, let's finish off the last couple of diamond spots here. And again, we're going to alternate honey blocks and slime block. Uh, now for this one, we want a redstone lamp next to that observer with some dust on it so that when the signal comes through the block, it will trigger that. We'll have an observer looking at the redstone lamp. And then we are going to come down and over and then over and up. On this block down here, we'll have a repeater on four tick delay. Bit of redstone dust on top of this block. And then we will have, here we go, a sticky piston facing up right there. And we don't need that. For this one here, we'll put a block on top of this dropper with a comparator firing into that block. Okay, now grab yourself some glazed terracotta 
and on the inside put a piece of glazed terracotta there and here so that this slime block can move freely. Uh, on the face of this sticky piston put a lectern and then create a book with 30 pages in it. On the last page write anything it doesn't matter but then sign the book. Very important to have 30 pages. Uh, put the book in the lectern on top of this sticky piston. Again, do a lectern with a book. Now this one set the book to page 6 and then over here in this first one just sit the book here on page 2. Just leave it on page 2. Uh, over here next to inside here next to this um, comparator put a block there on top of the block put a comparator so that when this pops up we can get a reading um, next to this lectern put a block do a slab Ooh, not there do a slab here get rid of that with a comparator on top of this so that when this extends we can get a reading off of this and then go ahead on top of this pink block put a comparator facing back in that direction and then finally down in here between these two pink blocks we want another comparator on top of a half slab so we'll put a temporary slab there and come over with that one and then put our comparator facing in that direction. Go ahead and take that one out. Good. Okay, we are finally ready for our decaying circuit. So come back over here to this comparator down there and put a block there, block there. One, two, and three, and like that. Come up on this back corner. We don't actually need that there. Do redstone dust and dust and dust back there. Comparator, comparator. Swing around, comparator, comparator. And then grab our observers. And on this, because we're, we're firing into this corner, so remember this corner has our observers. So we're going to come up once and twice. And then over here once and twice. And that is actually going to fire into a note block next to this dropper. Below the note block, we'll put a block of gold. And then the note block itself will hit 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like that. Cool. Good, good. Okay, now here off the end of this green wall, put a redstone torch. Um, down above there, we want a block and another block with two repeaters facing and firing into that yellow block. Each of them should be on two tick delay. Two tick delay. Off of this other end, we'll come down here, come over with a slab, a block, and a block. Close enough. <laughs> uh, but we're going, we're going to have dust, we're going to have a repeater on two tick delay, another bit of dust, and then a repeater. So now let's swing back over here to the front. And uh, so when, when these repeaters fire into these front blocks, what's going to happen is we are going to send that signal down through that block to the tops of these 
So let's run some blocks all the way across all seven of these. On this end, we'll come down and over and then down and over again. Uh, on top of all of this, put redstone dust and down there. This last block, put a repeater. That can fire up into a block with a redstone torch on top. Another block with a redstone torch on its side. And when all of this is lit up, it will actually light and lock this button to keep us from submitting any more diamonds. Uh, down here, off of this glazed terracotta, put a slab. On top of the terracotta, put a repeater and some dust here. Off of this end, come down and over with some glazed terracotta. Back with a regular block, glazed terracotta down there. And that comes up into a block. Off of this side, we want a piston facing forward, back to the front. We can get rid of that. That was just a temporary block. We can put a block. Well, before we put a block there, let's go ahead, put a repeater on the glazed terracotta. And then we can put a block here and here. Continue our redstone dust here and here. A bit of redstone dust on top of the piston. And then just a redstone torch on top there. And back to the front. Underneath our button here, we are going to have a stick, sticky piston facing down with a slime block and an observer actually facing to the front like that. Uh, and then down here, right there, put a block. Yep. And there. And create kind of a 4x4 four four square or 2x2 two two square. And then come up and over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, right there. And then line up where the lamps are and put a double row right there like that. Go ahead and put repeater, a repeater, a repeater two comparators, a repeater, and then a comparator in subtract mode. And that should be under the first diamond. Come on up in here and put a comparator facing that one. On this block, put a lectern with another one of our books of 30. And set this to page 12. Right there. And then get yourself some redstone dust and run redstone dust in front of all of these. Coming around to this side where this gray block is, come over twice, get rid of that one, come back once. Come back over, up and over once, up and over twice. Uh, here off the end, put a gold block and then a note block. Hit this 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. This first spot gets some redstone dust. This gets a repeater on a two tick delay like that. Uh, on this block, we'll put a redstone torch here. On this one, we will put a redstone torch there. We'll come up one more block with some dust. Off of this side, we'll have a slab with a repeater. Again, on a two tick delay. A 
block there with a redstone torch on its side. A block above it. A block down here. And then we'll just run blocks all the way across the hoppers and put dust on all of these. And that is basically going to lock all of our hoppers. Back here to this corner. We'll come up once and twice. We'll put a slab here, slab there, and a slab here to create a bit of an L. We can take out that one, don't need it. Then we'll just come up and over with some dust and the dust back into there. And then here we'll have a repeater on a three tick delay, just like that. On top of this redstone torch, we'll have a sticky piston, just like that. And then grab yourself a pumpkin, and the pumpkin goes here, and the note block goes here, and then hit this nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, good. All right, and while we are doing our note blocks, put an observer looking at that bit of redstone dust there an emerald on top of that and another note block hit this one six times one two three four five six off the side of the emerald put a piston like that um, then grab yourself a dropper and a hopper and next to this note block, you should be behind where the button is, put the dropper, and then have the hopper going back into it. Put a block of redstone there, a block here, uh, come over two more times, put a slab below here and get rid of that block. Put another slab here, and then you can do a comparator and a comparator here in subtract mode. So that's going to be taking some readings off of that hopper. Come on over here and come down to that position with a slab and put some redstone dust on it. Put another slab here, put a repeater and that's going to fire into a block here with a redstone torch on its face. And then we will run redstone dust along these hoppers all the way to here. And then on this last one, we'll put a block. That way the signal doesn't connect to here and in fact, we don't want any of these signals to connect. So we'll just put blocks across there like that. On the inside here, this comparator on the purple block, we want a block there. So that's firing into a block here. A torch above it, another block, torch on its face here. This comparator will be taking a reading from a block here that has dust on top of it, which would be fired by that torch. So it's a little bit of a pretzel, but that's what it should look like. And so now the random bit that determines win or loss is this dropper right here at the top, right there. And if you want an even win-lose probability, take one non-stackable item and one stackable item, just like that. And then it's a 50-50. Stackable items are winning items, means the person doubles their money. Non-stackable items is a loss. So if that gets fired over here into the hopper, well, they lose their money. 
if you want to change up your odds to make it a little better for winning, go ahead and take different items, and they have to be different. You don't want like four of the same thing because that amounts to the same statistical odd of, of it being chosen. So you want four, for example, four different things there, and then three non-stackable items, and that just improved the odds of winning just a little bit. Four to three. Or if you want to make it harder, harder to win, you th go ahead and have four non-stackable and three stackable. So you can you can play around with it however however you like. And lastly, most important, don't forget to put diamonds into this dropper here. And these are payouts to your first winners until you get all stocked up from them losing. Uh, but yeah, this dropper here, you need some diamonds in it for the payouts. And you are all good now. The machine is complete. And so I hope you guys like this game and have fun with it in your worlds. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave me a comment below. If you do like it, hit that like button. And if you like some of my other stuff and haven't yet, think about subscribing. Um, I'm planning on doing some more redstone tutorials in the future along the same lines as these. Um, so I hope to see you again. And until then, have fun and see ya.